You're watching the Guy Harvey Ultimate Shark Challenge in the news. In recent years, the most dangerous predator in the ocean has increasingly been the prey. But now in Florida, shark fishermen are joining forces with scientists in an effort to track the populations of these magnificent fish. NBC's Kerry Sanders has our story. Motoring to an early morning ritual, and then... Three, two, one. Good luck, guys. The race is on. Like so many fishing tournaments these days, they're after the same big prize money target, sharks. The U.S. government estimates a half million sharks are caught and killed in U.S. waters every year by sport fishermen. But this year, off the Sarasota, Florida coast, after decades of contention between anglers and scientists, cooperation. After the catch, the shark is transferred to a waiting boat where a team of shark experts from Moat Marine Laboratory begins to gather data. TL is 226. Carefully, they drill holes and then attach a satellite tag. This fin doesn't have any blood supply or, or much in the way of nerves, so it doesn't really bother. It's like clipping a fingernail that goes through there. For the next year, this great hammerhead shark, a female, they'll track this seven foot six inch hammerhead. The biologist, at times in the water with the just caught sharks, are now even more curious with the growing oil spill in the Gulf. We may see her change her direction, and I certainly hope she does avoid the oil because oil is not good for sharks. Dr. Bob Huter is one of the nation's leading shark experts. So unfortunately, we are fishing these animals to death. It wasn't always like this. Sport fishermen didn't target sharks until 1975. That's when everything changed, when a highly popular book was turned into a movie. Jaws was a game changer. Nationwide, shark tournaments exploded. With some competitions today netting the winners $400,000, conservationists hope to erase the need for those money shots. Sky Harvey Ultimate Shark Challenge, live action. By streaming shark fishing tournaments live to dockside crowds. We can learn a little bit about where they're going. Sharks, the hunter, now the hunted. But at least here, released. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Sarasota, Florida.